All right, so we're here at Melbourne Testing Services. We've got a bunch of stuff to test over the next few weeks, but today we're going to be focusing on these, which are shackles uh, typically used for towing. Now, I've got two types. I've got completely unweighted shackles, which have got no working load limit, no minimum braking strain, no nothing. And I've got these, which are weighted shackles, and they are rated to one tonnes. But because they are the Australian standard, that should break at about um, six tonnes. So the test we're going to do is as follows. We're going to take all four of these shackles to um, one tonne, which is the working load limit for the rated shackles, and obviously not for, there's nothing for the unrated shackles. We're going to do that twice. We're going to see if we can then still undo them after we have taken them to that one tonne limit, and then we're going to pull them apart to the point at which um, they completely snap, and just see what the difference is between the rated and unrated shackles. So what does the law actually say about the shackles you use on your trailer chains? Well, this is from the ADRs and it says that um, the strength of the chain should be 9.81 newtons times the ATM, which in effect means the chain should be as strong as the trailer uh, itself. So a three and a half ton trailer should have a three and a half um, ton chain rating. Now that's just the ADRs. How does that translate into state laws, which are of course all different. So let's start with Victoria and that says the break limit of the shackle should be one and a half times the ATM or greater. So for a three and a half ton trailer, that would be 5.2 tons or thereabouts. Now the important point to note is that the braking limit on a rated shackle is not the same as the working load limit. The working load limit is one ton. It's actually designed to brake at six times or greater than that. And that's the distinction, working load versus braking limit. And braking limit is what they're talking about here. And interestingly, they say you don't need a um, a uh, rated shackle, specifically call it out in the legislation. Government is, governments are weird sometimes, in fact, quite often. Um, but how you'd go about proving that it's actually uh, sufficiently rated without being a rate, I mean, that's literally what ratings are for. So I really don't get Victoria's logic in saying, um, but okay, you, you don't need a rated shackle. Queensland, um, more sensible for a change. Um, one ton uh, rated shackle is okay, as you can see, and they've even give you, given you this handy little table, which is nice of them. So same sort of logic. And let's just take a quick look at Western Australia now. Same sort of thing. They actually specifically require AZ2741, as you can see. And they also note that the brake load limit of a shackle will be six times greater than its workload limit. Now let's look at an example where we've, we're on the flat and the trailer is going to separate from the tow car. So it's going to go back, the chain's going to go tight. So if that trailer was three and a half tons and the speed of separation between tow car and trailer was four kilometers an hour and it stopped abruptly in three millimeters, which it probably would because chains are rather inelastic, you're looking at a force of over seven tons, which is quite a lot. And you can reduce that by keeping the, train, the, the chains as short as possible. So here's the test setup. There's the machine that's going to pull the shackle apart. Three shackles waiting to be tested. And right there, that's where that shackle is going to be pulled. Now, we're going to go to one tonne at a rate of a thousand kilograms um, a minute. And so it takes one minute to get to that tonne um, load. And then we're going to back it off, do it again and see how well it manages to undo. We're going to do the same with those. So what you can see here is the force and displacement graph. On the vertical axis, we've got the amount of force exerted in kilograms. We're getting up to the 1,000 kilogram mark now. And on the horizontal axis, it's how far the system or the shackle is dis displaced in millimeters. That's about 1.3 millimeters. So we're getting up to the 1,000 kilogram mark there. Going to hold that for a bit. Now we're going to start gently just reducing that load, as you can see. And as we reduce the load, then the displacement or the elongation starts to reduce as well. Now, the line on the way down doesn't match exactly the line on the way up. And the reason for that is just all of the little sort of stresses and strains and uh, tolerances being taken up in the testing um, systems. We would expect, uh, you can see it in there, there to be probably about a 0.02 millimetres or less um, deformation, which would reduce over time as well. So you can see here that um, that's 
easy enough to pull in and out, so we've just gone to a ton. Now we're going to do that ton again. So this one's coming out then? Yeah. Yep, no worries. Yeah, let's take that one out completely. Yep. Okay, so this shackle's been to its rated limit and back. Um, one ton and it's in perfect working order the pin goes in and out absolutely smoothly no problem at all so that's the last time this shackle is going to be in this condition because next it's going to get broken Alright, so let's see if we can undo this. No, it doesn't want to undo, does it? It does not no, want to undo. <laughs> that has bound on. So it hasn't broken, but um, it's clearly deformed enough um, that it, it is not going to come out undo without a fight. Make it come undone. Yeah, so we're now going to we're now going to persuade it that you are going to come undone. Right, it went okay. pretty easily. It went pretty easily in the end, but it certainly wasn't the um, finger type. It just definitely needed some effort there. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, let's put it back again and take it to another ton and see if it's any easier um, this time. Yeah. This is the test again, and again, thing. it's not going to want to come out. Um, so that's going to have to come out because we need to put the other shackle in. Yeah, yeah so again, not too, not too hard, but yeah, it's not hard, but um, we set the speed to two millimeters a minute. Yeah. Uh, the other one. Oh, okay. So it will be whatever speed, whatever force is required to get two millimeters a second, as opposed to yeah. to a minute, as yeah. opposed to here is an amount of force. And yep. we'll, so you can do it either way. You do it either way. Yeah. Usually, when you want to break something, um, it's best to go in displacement control. So load is being applied to the unrated shackle. What do you reckon it will break at? I, I, I'm going to go for 2,500 kilos. What do you reckon? Probably around that. Maybe even 20, higher. Yeah? I don't know if it, 3,000? Uh, yeah, it's, it's hard to say because rated shackles tend to go quite a bit higher before they break. Yeah. They're like up to like five times. But yeah. It's, it's sort of hard to say. Okay, well, let's see how we go. <laughs> um, so that's going in kilonewtons at the moment, so... Yeah. Okay. But yeah, you got that in kilograms. Yeah, oh, kilograms, so... 1,200. It's not... Oh, look at that, look at that. Yeah, yeah that's that, definitely that, a change. That's definitely a change. Are you sure about your 3,000 now? Maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> it's just really but but it, 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 is, it is flattening out. Yeah. It is flattening that's, out. That's typically how most things behave. Yeah. Just... Oh, here we go, here we go. There, there we go, that's it. So that's about 3.1 or thereabouts, yeah. Okay. It's dead. It is officially an X parrot. Right, so this is the unboxing. Inside is a dead shackle. 
RIP shackle. Yes, okay, we can pull that. No longer serviceable, I would suggest. Okay, let's see what condition this one's in and yeah very similar to the previous one bent all right so we got the weighted shackle in there bound up ready to go and we're off and running so 200 kilos now last time i think we saw at about the 12 1300 kilogram mark we started to see evidence that it wasn't going to return back to its original form at elastic deformation limit had been reached. Um, now here we're at 1300, 1400 already and that graph is just going straight up no change so that's indicating that it probably will come back to its original shape. Um, now it's past one ton which is its rated limit so 2900 oh now it, i think it's slightly starting to tail off so 3200 at the moment and um, 35 okay so it's gone well past the unrated shackle i think it's slightly starting to curve now way past the unrated shackle now by 500 kilos and we're going to stop it at 6400 because that's actually the limit of the um, attachment not the limit of the machine the limit of the attachment so much stronger Five times. Graph has just had to reorient itself now. Uh, 5.2, and yeah, it's um, it's going to be interesting to see what state it's in after it gets to 6400. Actually, it's going to be really interesting to see would it actually still be usable or not? Because we're not far off 6400. Look at that, 58. You know, for this tiny little shackle you'd be hard pushed to do a full drive recovery or tow a caravan where you're going to put more than six tons of load on it. Something would be in orbit by that time. And look, the graph is still looking pretty nice. Sorry. Okay, now we're going to have a stop now. Yeah. And we're stopping at 6,400. Okay, so it didn't break at 6.4 tons. Stretch much. All right, now here's the exciting part. What's it going to look like after it's nearly six and a half tons of load? Will it still be usable? Will we still be able to undo it finger tight? If it didn't break, probably got a fair way to go beyond that. And actually, that's because if it's a one-time shackle, six times the load, it actually went to well over six times the load and didn't break. Okay, so here's the test. Can we undo it? Let me see. Oh, no, it's bound up. It's bound up. I can't undo it finger tight. But the question is, can we put the shifter on it? Look, I mean, it's fair enough, right? I mean, it's just got six and a half tons worth of load on it. Can you undo it? You've got stronger fingers than that? No. No? No. I'll grab the... Let, let's grab the shifter, wherever it's gone. Oh, and it hands off it. Sort of. Yeah. yeah. But it, it's doable. Yeah, no, yeah. it's doable. Yeah, the pin looks pretty unscathed. The pin actually looks a bit bent, to be honest. Oh, yeah, no. I think the, no, the pin actually is a bit bent. Yep. Um, but, yeah, okay, well, let's get the other one on. Um, and um, we'll see what that's like. All right, so just before we destroy the other shackle, you can see that this pin is a little bit bent compared to the other one. Um, not a lot, but the big difference is look at that hole, that's quite elongated, whereas it's obviously completely round there, and um, you can see there there's a bit of a difference. But, um, you know, we were able to get to get it undone, it didn't fail, and it actually came out with the shifter, so good work. Now, we are now going to kill this one.
Right, so what have we got here? Oh, this one doesn't look too bad, does it? Can we yeah. undo it finger tight? Well, no, it no. moved a little bit. Moved but... a little bit. It's stronger fingers. <laughs> bound up a fair bit. You can see it's very bent in there. Fair enough, it's bound up. Put in the vice. It's not snapped and it could be undone. I mean, I carry something that size in my car, so not that I would ever hope to be in a situation where I'd put a shackle like that under six and a half tons of load, but um, you know, good to know it can take it. No, I There we go. Yeah, okay, Rather bent. So there's the results. So these are the two rated shackles, went all the way um, to six tons, um, and the two unrated, you can just see how much they deformed. So they deformed um, up to about uh, 14, 12, 13 millimeters um, before completely failing. The rated ones got up to deformation of eight millimeters, um, and they haven't failed even at six tons. So very significant difference. So here's the final results then. So there's one unrated shackle, there's another unrated shackle, and that's the result of nearly three and a half tons, but functionally they'd have been gone at about 11, 1200, I would suggest. Now these rated shackles look in much better condition. These went to about 6400 and back. This one, well, you can't get the pin in and out anymore. That's as far as that's gonna go in, but on this one, the pin does actually come in and out completely which um, is nice and both of them all four shackles have been to a thousand kilograms and back twice before we applied the ultimate load so there you go probably the rated shackles are the better bet I would suggest so let's take a look at the results then and here we've got the force in kilograms and the deformation in millimeters starting first with the rated shackle which went up to thousand kilograms and back again and uh, that deflected to a maximum of a bit over 1.2 millimeters didn't quite regain its original shape probably would have done given a bit more time because that was immediately after the test and also maybe a bit of taking up slack there as well and the unrated shackle behaves in a similar manner although we did obviously have a lot more difficulty undoing it after even the first thousand kilogram test. Then we come on to the destructional maximum load test and this is the unrated shackle you can see taking a bit of slack here and then we start to get into a load deformation over here at this point it really starts to change we'll talk about that in a second and ultimately it fails um, about 15 and a bit millimeters and uh, about 3400 kilograms then we've got over here the rated shackle and you can see that again um, that's a much more consistent graph this point here is really where the unrated shackle gave up i.e it was so deformed it there's no way it was going to regain its original dimensions and that's well and truly failed the um, rated shackle itself well you could argue whether it did um, completely fail or not but it became unusable we think around about the three and a half ton mark there so is there an economic benefit to buying an unrated shackle well Here's the unrated, $3.80. Here is the rated shackle, $4.20. I'd suggest there's not really an economic argument. All right, summary then. So use shackles which take at least one and a half tons, the ATM, the maximum weight your trailer can be. And for all intents and purposes, that is shackles rated to Australian standard 2741, S rated and a one ton shackle will be fine up to three and a half tons as per the regulations and what we've shown. 
Replace the shackles if they become difficult to use. They're so cheap and they're important, so um, don't be messing around with a damaged shackle. Cross your chains, which is also important for, um, for trailer use. And orient the shackles so they stay tight. It's very easy for a shackle to become undone, particularly if it's bouncing around on the end of a chain, so ensure that's important. And Please read the regulations, not Facebook posts. Every so often this comes up with someone going, oh, do you, can you use rated shackles? Yes, no, etc." It's literally written on the regulations which are on government websites. That's where you find information, not from old mate 66 on a caravan forum. So I hope you found this video useful and interesting. If you've got any questions, do drop them in the comments and thank you for watching.